Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Cosmic Star Heroin. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and in the last episode we ran away from cops, and then we got um, in this little abandoned warehouse uh, where there's a bunch of rats. We don't actually need to be here, but we're here, so we might as well uh, take care of these rats. And for some reason that one didn't get poisoned despite being in hyper mode, that's weird. Um, Enviro hack on ourselves. That could be a little bit of a buff. Well, it's not a bad idea, actually. A little buff in the first round. Oh, that was a heal. That's not... <laughs> what a waste. Uh, we'll wait till we're in hyper mode to really do a lot of damage here. And she'll fortify. Okay. One hit, poisoned. Two hits, poisoned. Okay, so everybody's gonna be poisoned. Ah, oh, maybe not our good friend. Now she's gonna do regen right away to counter that poison. Uh, you... what could you do, actually? I don't really know what to make him do. He's... they're weak against fire. So maybe wait till we're in hyper mode and then just use a basic... Actually, raise grind. Grind because once he's in hyper mode, that's probably gonna end up doing more damage, I think. So a little bit of a flood. Just to get... take care of our hyper mode. Do some focus, because they're all weak against fire, I think. Ow. Ow. Poison again. Can you be triple poison? Does it stack? I sure hope not. Okay, so... What could we do here? Let's put Vulnerable on one of these. How about that one? And he's in this, so let's do fire on... This one? I'm spreading out the love here because I'm pretty sure an inspired Chon is going to do a whole heck of a lot of damage and might possibly kill three of them. Let's go! Boom! Oh wow, all four of them. I'll take that any day. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Let's save because that went... Whoops. Chon's friend is surprisingly adept at combat for... Okay, so okay. I never know when there's some new insight. It'd be kind of nice if uh, Z-Boy Games would add like an exclamation point or something. Uh, and this is a new episode, so let's save here. And anything to examine anywhere? Not really. Okay. So these battles aren't really worth grinding. Oh, okay, this goes up. Okay, now I understand. Super poison! Boom! And that worked. Um, these things are not weak against anything. How about... Um, we could try a stun. Why not? Let's stun him. That didn't work. And uh, in hyper mode, I'll make her hit the next one. Actually, I'm going to make... Yeah, let's use laser. Let's make her fortify. These things aren't really that tough, so it's not that big of a fight here. Okay, so now let's do some opening damage. Opening slash, only because that's, now is the time to use it, really. Uh, man, I should probably use this in hyper mode as well, so let's wait. Let's just do a regular zap, I guess. Viral hack is a heal, so let's zap. And what did I want to do in hyper mode? Oh yeah, poison. No, not potion. Poison on this one. Because I think po uh, poison applied during hyper mode is way more powerful. And you... How about you focus? Might as well. Two of them. You'll be in hyper mode. And you do... Oh, vulnerable. Yeah, let's do vulnerable. How about on the... Uh... This one. I think Chan will get a turn first, so... Fire on this one? Maybe we'll kill two of them. Oh, that wasn't that strong. Can we apply Vulnerable? Let's try. What's the worst that can happen? Vulnerable, not stunned though, but... Big damage, big damage, big damage. That was big damage indeed. No! Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, but she's in this mode thing, so let's not waste it. We'll disarm this guy. Chan could probably heal herself, so... 
That thing's gonna kill itself with its poison. Uh, this guy, actually, you know what? Heal Tron. She might as well do her echo. 96. Why is she down, though? Let's fight these two. Perfect. Uh, echo, fight this thing. Boom! There you go. Well done, guys. We'll save again. I save after all these these fights because I don't trust myself to not die. And uh, or lock, get locked out of the game. I mean that that happens, right? A cutesy mic. This accessory for Lauren boosts her charm success rate. Okay, that's actually pretty good because she keeps failing every time I use it. So microphone is more efficient. Phone uh, sold at every microphone is more effective. What does that mean? Charm up once. What does this do? It doesn't do anything. Sold at every Ansible hut. What's microphone though? What's that ability? Let's check it out. Abilities. Microphone. Oh. That's inflicts poison. Actually, that's pretty good, actually. But it doesn't always work. And charm would be pretty handy, because... Who knows? Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? The fact that it was hidden this far in this abandoned... Uh, Apartment or warehouse, I should say, uh, means it's probably pretty useful, so... We'll get out of here, we'll save, we'll head to the Freedom Fair. Alright, here we are, save this spot again. I know I save a lot. Enter! We're less likely to attract unwanted attention if I go in alone. What? Roger that! We'll secure the area and warn you of any incoming danger. Good luck! I don't know why I made Sean so peppy. I've always wanted to visit the Freedom Festival. Not the best of circumstances, but I'll take it. The meeting point should be up and to the left, but I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to look around a bit first. So this is definitely the Millennia... Millennia Fair? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Insight! Ever since I was little, a little kid, I wanted to go to the Freedom Festival. Never got the chance. Too busy studying. Just wanted a break from the scavenger hunt. Every item is available at the festival, but it's still tough to find them all. Where could I find a ram chip for the scavenger hunt? Maybe a robot here has a spare one they're not using. Welcome to the festival scavenger hunt booth. One sec while we calculate your personalized list of items. Here's what you need to collect. A ram chip, a tuft of green fur, a sparkling stone, an edible cup, Bring all four items back before anyone else and find uh, win a prize. Oh, that's what I'll do. This glittering stone is easy to see now, but before I picked it up, it was very hard to spot. Okay, so we have to find a little stone on the floor. There, there, went, there was a police officer here a minute ago asking if I had... I ha oh my god, asking if I had seen anyone suspicious. So annoying. I haven't seen a single person win at the Telepix booth. I think it's rigged. Step on up, folks. Guess which uh, cyber shell holds a cyber data and win a prize? Um, how about left? I'm sorry, but the cyber data was hitting another sh cyber shell. Better luck next time. Dang it. Beep, beep. Cleaning is so fun. Beep, beep. Cleaning is so fun. What is my purpose? If I hear one more word about Astra on the news, I think I'm going to puke. Gee, you don't think they could be planning on attacking here, do you? Foreshadowing. This monument represents humanity's intellectual rise from primitive beginnings to planetary mastery. It also strangely resembles skyscrapers on fire. <laughs> What's with this crazy statue? It looks like a bunch of tentacles shooting up into the sky. Did you hear no, learn nothing while you were at school? Each stock represents one of the pillars of Arenu's life. First stability, second unity, third freedom. Why am I making her so annoying? I'm so sorry. Still, it looks like crazy nightmare fuel to me. Oh, jeez. I just had a horribly uh, horrifying thought. What if this hacking simulator that I thought was just a game was actually real life? I'd be in so much trouble. Ooh, I found the stone. Here it is. Hey. What's this? You found a glittering stone. Good. Welcome to the hacking game booth, is what I would have said if there were any available terminals. 
Who would have thought that a game where you try to hack into government facilities would be so popular? Right. I may be old, but I can hack rise with the best of them. Really? Of course you can have a balloon, kiddo, but what color should we get? Maybe green? Or what about a red one? Man, those colors are pretty dull. Grandpa, I want a balloon! This is the Freedom Festival, but what freedom are we celebrating exactly? I certainly don't feel any more free than I did last year. This cart can must be full of balloons. How else would it be floating? Uh, I guess. Would you like to buy a balloon? Only five credits! No thanks, every time I get a balloon, I'm always terrified of letting go and losing it. Uh, we would have given it to the kid though, so... I guess we won't get a balloon then. Am I gonna bump into anyone here? Alright, so I need a RAM chip. Please enjoy the Freedom Festival. Enjoy the Freedom Festival Fragile Organic Based Light Form, also known as a meat bag. That new recruit is driving me crazy with his patrolling. Why won't he just stand around and act bored like he's supposed to? Nothing to see here, citizen. Move along. Oop, little typo there. Move along, move along. Let's keep the major walkways clear for pedestrian traffic. Wait a second, miss. Do I know you? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, uh, Alyssa? You must be mistaken. No, I remember now. The family reunion ten years ago. I'm your third cousin, twice removed. Finn Finnegan LaSalle. There were so many people, you probably don't remember me, so what are you up to these days? Oh, uh, nothing much. <laughs> yeah, copy that. Sorry, but I can't catch up. As a member of the police force, it's up to me and me alone to make sure this festival runs smoothly. Uh, another time, perhaps. Duty calls. So I guess we'll get a recruitment later. That was a close one. The last thing I want is in this situation is for somebody to draw attention to me. Yeah, good call. I can't stop eating these d uh, ductoid nuggets. Have a cup of wonderful fountain water and it's totally environmentally friendly. The cup is even edible. I wouldn't actually recommend eating it though. It tastes like salmon flavored toothpaste. Uh, I'll just take the cup, please. Suit yourself. You got an edible cup. So we got a cup. We got uh, the shiny stone. We need a ram chip and what else? Oh yeah, green fur. My teacher's installing a firmware upgrade so I didn't have to go to school today. Psst, you want to hear a secret? I hear Astro has been using that alleyway over by the battle arena tent as a secret meeting place. But if I've heard about it, I just... Uh, but if I've heard about it, just how secret could it be? If I was in charge, I'd be sure to arrest anyone who went there. Yeah, seriously. The only thing wrong with Agency of Peace and Intelligence is that it's too good. That's worrisome. No government organization sh could be that good, could it? They must be hiding something. You know something that I noticed uh, in Chrono Trigger when you talk to people, you can still move around the map. Something that hasn't been applied in this game. Probably for the best though, that's probably really buggy and stuff, because you walk around and you're kind of like in dialogue state and in the moving state, so... Some days I wish I could he eat human food. I hear some thieves broke into Skybreaker Tower and stole the blueprint to an experimental mech, but e even if they have the designs, they wouldn't have the funds to construct such a thing, right? Why not? They already had a demo one. This bitch used to be the perfect place to watch the Fe Freedom Festival parade go by. I stand here watchful even though the parade hasn't been a part of the festival for years. There's nothing to see here. Turn back. You can't pass me, humanoid. I'm stronger than you. Okay there, buddy. Just doing a routine inspection on the East Plaza. We'll open the route uh, up again sh uh, momentarily. Okay. Sure, if you say so. Hope oh, just a moment. Sorry about that, uh, folks. Real life distractions are annoying. Everything's already been paid for by the state. What can I get you? Uh, a fried Zarlac, some roast brog legs. Uh, let's get both. I've heard that the Zarlac is supposed to be the really good for you. You eat the fried Zarlac. Not bad. Can I get some more stuff? Uh, we'll have the roast brog leg. Doesn't look very appetizing. Well, here goes nothing. You eat the roast brog legs. Wow, that's actually really good. Well, anything's good when it's deep fried. Lukewarm glush. Ductoid nuggets. Let's try the lukewarm glush. St it's still moving. You eat the lukewarm. I can feel it wiggle down my throat. Ugh. You'd think, uh, I don't know. I guess being a secret agent doesn't stop you from being grossed, off by, uh, grossed out by eating uh, bugs and stuff. 
The duck doid nuggets. That sounds delicious, but is it robot ducks? I don't know. I really loved these things as a kid. Mmm, tastes just like the ones mom used to microwave for me. Okay. Now, where can we get some green fur? I was gonna guess there might be one of those alien cats somewhere. We have, uh, we have a lot to celebrate. Why, just think, if, if it wasn't for the efforts of the Agency of Peace and Intelligence in defusing that reactor meltdown, we'd all be dead. I guess, that was all me, though. I bought a raffle ticket, but they told me I have to come back in person the next day to see if I've won anything. How retro. Would you like to enter our raffle? A ticket is only 200 credits. Uh, why not? Thank you, we'll con contact you if you win. Sure. That alien cat is deceptively tough. I wouldn't enter the battle arena against it if I were you. Oh, that's where we're gonna have to go to get the green fur. Now, if that round was rock, if that round was rock, then that round would have to be paper, or is it scissors? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, so rock, paper, scissors. Welcome to the rock, paper, scissors booth. If you manage to win all eight rounds, you get a prize. It would be hard to win just by guessing, so I'm going to give you some clues on what I will pick each round. But you have to win each round. Ties don't count. Here are the clues. I will make the same choice in round two and three. Okay. I will never make the same choice more than twice in a row. Okay. I will make the same choice in round one and four. Okay. My choice in round five would beat my choice in round one. Okay. I will make the same choice in round five and seven. I will not pick paper in round two or round four. I will not pick rock in round three or round eight. I will pick paper less than I pick rock or scissors. Are you ready? Uh, no. Dang it. I should have taken notes. Dar, you failed. I'm gonna save here. Not that it really matters. But I'm gonna take those notes down. Alright, so. Logic beats all, right? So these are kind of fun puzzles. Uh, okay, here we go. I got a piece of paper here. So we got eight rounds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's talk to him again. Welcome. Okay, okay, okay. If you manage to win all eight rounds, you get a prize. It would be hard to win, but by guessing, that's fine. But you have to win. Okay. Here are the clues. I will make the same choice in round two and three. So two equals three. Okay. I will never make the same choice more than twice in a row. So four won't be equal to what's in two or three. Not same more than twice. Okay. I will make the same choice in round one and four. So one equals four. Ow. My choice in round five would beat my choice in round one. So five wins against one and four because one and four are the same. I will make the same choice in five and seven. So five equals seven. I will not pick paper in round two or four. So two doesn't equal paper. And four doesn't equal paper. Uh, which means three is not paper either. And four is not paper. And two is not paper. Okay, man, this is getting a little tougher. Okay, so if okay, so now we know we can make some deductions here. I will not pick rock in round three or round eight. So three doesn't equal rock, and eight doesn't equal rock. All right, so here's how we're gonna break this down. I will pick I will pick paper less than I pick rock or scissors. I will pick paper less than I, so. Okay, I don't know if that. Okay, paper more often. Then rock or scissors. Jeez. Okay. Are you ready? All right. Let's let's look at this. Okay, guys. So I spent a little bit of time off screen to figure this thing out, and I just realized why I was not actually getting this puzzle. 
It wasn't that my earlier guesses were bad. Well, actually, at one point they were bad because I had the wrong hint. But, uh, okay, so first off, rounds 6 and 8 are the ones that don't really have hints on how to find them. Uh, we do know that 8 can't be rock, okay? So, we have that. The last hint says that paper will be picked less often than rock or scissors. So, to solve this, this, to solve this whole thing, I just basically made a salt myself a table. Next to each round, I wrote rock, paper, scissors, and I would scratch out which one it couldn't be. And if, until I eventually just like through deduction of going through the hints, was finally able to find all the rounds. But six and eight were the ones I couldn't quite do just through the hints right away. And uh, they have to do with the one where it says paper is picked less often than rock or scissors. So up to having six and eight left, you have two paper, two scissors, and two rocks. So for paper to be picked left less often than uh, rock and scissors, that means that six and eight cannot be paper. So you scratch those out right away. Because then if, if those are either paper, either of those rounds are paper, then that means that paper is picked three times, which means that it would go against that last hint they give us. So since eight can't be paper, and we already know that it can't be rock, that means it has to be scissors. And to keep that last hint going, that means there's only one choice left. That means that six has to be rock. So now we know that the choices picked are rock, scissors, scissors, rock, paper, rock, paper, scissors. And here's the thing. I was giving that answer to the NPC when I'm supposed to be beating him. I feel like an idiot. But yeah, I'm supposed to pick the opposite, not pick the, what they're act, not guessing what they're gonna do. I'm supposed to beat him, so I feel really stupid. I was so lost and actually figure out what I was gonna be uh, picking that I basically, um, um, I basically just I, I got so laser focused on that that I forgot that I had to beat him. I forgot the rules of rock paper scissors, so I wasn't losing. I was just tying, and the whole point is to beat him eight rounds in a row. So let's go again, and now we have to go through the hints here. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So round one is paper, round two is rock, round three is rock, followed by round four, which is paper, round five is scissors, round six is paper, round seven is scissors, uh, round eight is rock. Congratulations for your expert logic skills. Please accept this reward. You got an Aqua Basher. This weapon for Alyssa is full of watery power. Nice. So if we equip that, it's actually, uh, wow, it's actually much better than, uh, we get water up. Oh my god, that's gonna be so good for hyper mode. Spark, so it increases spark. I forget what spark does again, but whatever. And now we got Aqua Basher. Good. Now let's save for real. And uh, we'll go back to uh, playing the episode. So, uh, see ya. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a, take a break from this. If you're trying to win the rock, paper, scissors booth with luck, you'll never succeed. But with logic, it's as simple as pi to the 15 digit. Uh, my teacher's installing a firmware upgrade, so I didn't have to go to school today. Okay, so we're gonna go to the battle arena. Oh, there's our cat. I sense a familiar aura. Intriguing. Uh, I don't want to go to the alleyway right away. You look like a strong class. Care to taste your strength and skill in the arena? 500 credits to enter and 2,000 credits if you win. What do you say? Uh, no, not right away. I'm going to save first. Because I don't want to lose that kind of money. At least not right away. Uh, let's do it. So how do we start this? I'm going to start with poison. Poison mist. Because the longer it stays poison, the better. There you go. Now we're in hyper mode. Um, is this thing weak against anything? It's weak against water, so let's use drown, and then I'll use vulnerable next. Boom! Ouch! Okay, that was really handy. Two. Wow. Okay. We. Um, can we stun it? Boom! Stun. Vulnerable. No stun. Um. Let's heal ourselves, and then we can do Flood. Because it will be in Hyper Mode as well. There you go, Hyper Mode and Vulnerable. 
Oh no! We screwed up there a little bit. Um. No, I need to heal up a little bit, but maybe I want to apply Vulnerable first. Yeah, let's do this. Vulnerable. Ow. Oh crap. Oh crap. Heal. I'm at minus one. Oh, just to say, too. Now I lost some style because of it. Uh, I hate to use... Waste this. I think I could probably survive one round. Especially since my style's so up right now. 60. Yeah, I think I can... Vigilance. Please survive this round. Oh, we did! First aid. Okay, our styles are high enough. Drown. We can do a lot of damage. But, oh man, I need my heal back. Boom! Oh god, yay, we won it! Oh, that was close! Woo! Enemies. Impressive technique, I submit! Somebody actually won? I didn't expect that. I mean, congratulations on your victory! As far as, here's your prize! You got 2,000 credits. This is going to sound weird, but could I have a tuft of your fur? A memento of our battle, why not? You got a tuft of green fur, thank you! Alright folks, I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, it is a little bit shorter if I cut out some of this rock paper stuff. I'm gonna try and figure it out uh, in a post video clip. Um, and then in the next episode, we'll go and meet the people from uh, Astrea. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Let me know what you think of Cosmic Star Heroine, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.